I don't know, know, and I don't know whether anything can be done along that line sure. or not. I thought maybe in some of your testimony you might just keep harping on you. have impressed me pretty much a time or two, and you said, well, we're down to 4%, but I want you to know, Mr. President, every morning there's so many jobs to be filled, whatever number it is. How many jobs open me today? Eight to 10,000. All right. Yep. Every morning when I get up the coffee, there's 10,000 men got to be that's placed. Yep. And uh, while we are down to 3.7, and that's good, and we've been working for it, and that's fine. And we want people to get jobs. I don't think anybody wants to advocate that they just ought to be breadline so a fella can get a, a little better gardener. Uh, ought to be a breadline and ought to man get a little better truck driver. We want to get everybody employed. But while we are, we still got X percentage of our young people that don't have jobs. We still have Y percentage of these. If we could emphasize that a little better, sure. I'm telling Gardner over here to, to quit to talking how bad it is for some of these things to happen. Let's talk about uh, more or less approving it. And uh, when Steele comes in and says we're going to cut some things and adjust, well, let's encourage them to do it and brag on them for cutting. And, uh, but don't uh, play up to 3.7 too much. That's, uh, that, that's, uh, that's right. Point. That's right. I think that's right. I'm testifying on the poverty thing on Wednesday morning and can uh, play this uh, that way there. I just say one of the great strengths. Of course, we 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 do have uh, uh, when you get down to uh, when you when you go to finding jobs for people, uh, you you do go to filling up the capacity. We all know that, and uh, you go dodging it. But one of the secret weapons the United States has got is every morning we got 10,000 new men or 8,000, whatever the figure is. And I get up breakfast, I got to find a job for that day, or they go home to a family that's got nothing on the table. And uh, to these men that's saying, well, things are tight, say, yes, that's right. We're going we're, we're gonna to give you 10,000 more, and that means 70,000 a week, and that means uh, uh, 300,000 a month, and that means over 3 million a year. And if we stress that a little bit, uh, it, uh, Bill Martin, when he raised this interest rate, he just got everybody scared to death, and they just talking inflation and hollering inflation and going inflation. Now, there are a lot of things that are, that are going down. I just noticed this week uh, just a whole lot of stuff uh, dropped, and the housing dropped, and we just... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm worried about inflation, but uh, I want I don't want it to just, uh, I'm like uh, the old boy said one time, said, well, the Russians, by God, may get me, but they're not going to scare me to death. No. And uh, inflation may get us, but I don't want it to give me a heart attack. I just want to fight it as long as I can. And uh, I think that uh, uh, when they get a little, the, your consumers thing was very good for us last week uh, when you issued it to consumer. Uh, uh, price didn't go up, but we didn't get it stressed enough. We always get the bad things stressed. It's not a news story, you know, if something's good. And uh, but if you can emphasize now tomorrow, talk to Ross when he puts this stuff out and say, now sure, this is a goal Wirtz has been working toward. Kennedy worked toward. Johnson worked toward. Congress worked toward. Our goal is full employment, and that's the law of the land. We're not uh, backing away from it. We're getting it. But well, we want to mind you, while we got 3.7, that we still got uh, 3 million that don't have jobs. We still got 10,000 that came in this morning. We haven't found jobs for yet. And that's why we're improving our employment service. And that's why we've got to improve our training service. And that's why we've got to all work together here and so on and so forth. And just drive that home so that it doesn't get all the play. Now, this, uh, this Eddy index shows that we're going to have a 32% increase in plant investment. But the Commerce SEC shows only 16. Mm -hmm. So if we can stress that uh, it was 15 and a half last year, and it's only 16 this year, and it's about the same. So that's not anything to just uh, go wild about. And Eddie's way off, and this is going to show his way off. That's coming out tomorrow next day. So if you'll get that, now I've exchanged letters with the right Patman today, and if you'll get that on plant investment, I think that'll help tapers down a little bit. But now, if we're not careful what our enemies are going to do, 
They're going to take the position that we always got to have about a five to ten percent to unemployment. That's not going to hurt anybody, and that's kind of good for you, and you can get labor easier, and uh, you won't have any trouble with your maids, and you don't have to pay them too much, and everything's all right. Now, we don't want to get that kind of attitude. Our, our objective in this country is full employment, and you still haven't got full. And let Ross point out that every morning you've got an obligation to your employment service, get 10,000 more jobs before dark, 300,000 more that month. And while they may have a little tightness today, you're going to train some, they'll give you the money and get some of these young ones, and so on and so forth. Do you follow what I'm getting at? Perfect. And you get a copy of this, uh, of this uh, uh, letter from the chairman of the Joint Economic Committee to the president. The president replied, Joe Califano, get it to you. Uh, I'll tell him to send you a copy over to your office. You just watch your office. Then you tell your, your man over there that uh, the more he can get you on television, the better off it is for me. Uh, but uh, let, try to see if today won't interview you again or see if uh, meet the press you were on the other day so you're not, uh, but that's real good. And the more you emphasize uh, these folks that are coming on and these new men and that you're not going to get crying because a man gets a job, but this is the goal of the Congress. And there's no use of shouting out here and saying, well, everything's going to hell because the men are getting jobs. Well, who said that? Is that Gertrude's? No, but uh, it gets around among everybody scared about inflation. All the bankers started, and I'm scared about it, too. But I, I'm trying to do something about it by asking you to kind of play down uh, the fact that we our capacity is all used up because it's not. You've got lots of men coming on here, and you, they give you the money to train them. That's where the weakness is. We got people that can't do a damn thing, and we ought to have money to train them. And every guy that's out of a job now, these bulldozer operators up there at eight dollars an hour. Uh, We've been trying for four months to get money in our job corps down there to get uh, some bulldozer training in our country. We just pay them three dollars an hour in our country. But every boy that can learn a bulldozer and he can learn it in six months and be a good one, we'll just haul them out for the hundreds at three dollars an hour, just as quick as you do it. But we haven't been, been able to get poverty to even get some bulldozers to train them on. We finally got it. And we're turning out a bunch. But I saw on television the other night, we turned out 20. Uh, I believe they were welders. And they went to Houston to work. You know what? Some of those kids get $150 a day. Now, it's unthinkable, but they're undersea welders. It's oh, yeah. very hazardous. Oh, yeah. Very hazardous, but it's under the Gulf, and, uh, and uh, they're building these pipelines or derricks or whatever it is, and they go down there and weld them. That's the job core bunch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but uh, if if you can just emphasize that we got people, lots of people that are coming on 10000 a day, 300000 a month, $3 million a year, they'll just give you the money to teach them, to teach them how to hold these welding jobs and how to hold these mechanics jobs and uh, how to hold uh, these uh, uh, jobs where you've got great needs, why, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll meet our goal. Yeah, another point we should start to emphasize is this under uh, underdevelopment, I mean underemployment or underuse. Most people in this country are one or two notches below what they could be doing. And, uh, our, and the, the real answer on this shortage business is going to be that uh, people have got to, uh, be, uh, the employers got to train these people up a, a notch or two. In addition to the 3.7 percent, there are probably about two million others who are sitting around on street corners or lying in bed when they should be out working. I'd make that point, and then I would say you got a good many men that are retired that like to come back to right. work and say, now, why are you talking about discrimination? Uh, some of the ablest uh, people we've got in the service we found out are women, and women can do excellent jobs, and there are a lot of women, and here's the, here's the unemployment figure on women. And if you'll pay them worth something, why we can we can work them. Uh, and uh, just say we have uh, we're not about to holler quits here. We 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 got whatever it needs to produce what these people need and what the rest of the world needs. And if you'll just uh, quit wringing your hands and talking about we got everything in bad shape because we got 3.7, well, that's the best news we've had. 
Uh, if you want some women, why well, here's the unemployment figure among women. And let's let's get them uh, trained. What we need is more training places things. Get your neighborhood stuff going. That's right. You get this letter from Joe and take his Padman line and and kind of knock off this thing that uh, we we the dollar's gone to hell because you've got three point seven before it hits. And Ross is going to hit it tomorrow, I guess. That's what he's going to announce, isn't it? Yep, that's right. But he's, well, he's already under instructions to play it low and uh, not to make a big blow about it. And put in some of these other things yeah. about your problem. And right. You might get your... I saw Wall Street Journal had some articles about your employment services. That's how you improve it. All right, good. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. And get on, get on some of these shows around here. If you have to get on... Uh, even uh, this uh, Metro Media, this local station, it gets published when you do. Yeah. And uh, try to anticipate tomorrow or next day the reaction, you see. All right. Good.